this piece I was just kind of playing around with wanting to make a mermaid and so I didn't want to do a traditional mermaid I wanted to do a representation that was a little bit more childlike and playful and so I gave her little flippers sort of like a seal I was thinking about selkies too which are these mythological creatures that transform into seals and I sort of liked that idea a lot of my work focuses on fairy tales and folklore and mythical creatures and so this one initially was going to be a vase but then the more I worked on it the more fun I thought it would be to see it as an out outdoor sculpture so that is probably what her future will hold for her. so this piece is kind of a contemporary version of Bigfoot so he's you know got that that typical Bigfoot stance but again, he's, he's more of a childlike version. A lot of my pieces are, actually all of my pieces are loose portraits of my children. And so this guy would probably be a portrait of my son. This one's my daughter. This one's based on Bambi. I read an article about albino deer and I just really liked that idea of vulnerability. And I thought that the albino deer really represented that. So you can see, you know, a lot of my pieces I focus on surface details. And so this one has vintage decals. And then this piece has fired on glaze and then this fuzzy surface is called flocking. So I'm really interested in those candy coated surfaces that I can get with ceramics. So this one is the sea witch based on that Ursula character from The Little Mermaid. And also the blue ringed octopus. The process, it's all slab constructed, hand built and slab constructed. And so, you know, all of these little pieces, like these little tentacles are just pinch pots. And then I make a newspaper form and then wrap sheets of clay over the newspaper form, paddle it. And then for the faces, a lot of times I work from photographs of my children. So they'll pose and uh, I kind of abstract from there. And I work a lot from, you know, looking at Images from nature, old vintage illustrations, lots of sources of inspiration. So these are some of the modeled cups that I do. I call this the mushroom series. They have that kind of speckled oatmeal mushroom surface. These little guys are the snowballs. And I hand sculpt each one and then take a mold off of that and then all of the cups are cast in porcelain. And then this is actually a new series that I've been collaborating with my husband on. These are painted cups and they've all been carved. So I trace a drawing onto the cup when it's leather hard and then hand paint everything. A wax resist is applied over the decorative paintings and then they're dipped into a glaze. And so Brian does all the throwing on the cups and I do the decorations. This is a series that I just started. I'm still kind of working out some of the technical kinks. You can see where the glaze has sort of started to run into the tent and the, the uh, sleeping bag is kind of feathering out. But these ones I call the campers. This is our new Tahoe souvenir line. This is Tahoe Tessie. And then we've also started doing Bigfoot. Tahoe Tessie is the mythological creature that supposedly lives in the lake. A lot like uh, Loch Ness Monster, we've got Tessie. And so I based my drawing off of a plesiosaur, but then gave it a little girly face. So you gotta be careful if you go swimming. And again, I've got my Tahoe Tessie imagery going on. And so this is what the glaze looks like before it's gone in the kiln. So this will actually turn a dark, navy, glossy color. And this turns into this glaze, this sort of matte blue glaze. And then you can see this is like the tent prior to being fired. This 
is the shrimp tempura roll and the California roll. Uh, I was invited to be in a food show, and so I asked my kids if I was going to turn you into food, what would you want me to turn you into? And they said sushi. Shapes, this is Tamago and Ebi. And so it's the sushi and the suhis. And then these are the little masago eggs. So all the other ones were hand sculpted. This was hand sculpted and then I made a mold. And so all of these have been pressed into a, a little face mold. So this sculpture is based off the character Veruca from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory or Willy Wonka and the character gets attacked by squirrels. I just thought it was kind of a fun nightmarish image and I used a vintage mold to replicate those squirrels over and over again. Kind of like that creepy Disney vibe. And then this one here is also made from a number of different vintage uh, plaster molds that I cast porcelain into. And this one's Beauty and the Beast. It's a portrait of my daughter and her dog. And so if you turn it, you can see there's a little tiny decal on the book pages. It's about a monster. So this piece is Gretel, and this is Hansel. And so you can see on this piece, it's all hand sculpted. And then I frosted the little cake with a porcelain slip frosting. And then there's again vintage decals to decorate her dress. And then this guy is Hansel, and he's got one of those vintage molds I like to use. Um, I use that to make that bird. And then again, all hand painted, and he has a little wishbone in his hand.